Hello and welcome to Install Libre. Today we are taking a look at KOS, installation media dated February 21st, 2017. KOS is an independent Linux distribution with a rolling release model. Its primary focus is on providing the best experience with the latest Plasma 5 desktop and Qt toolkit, with a curated list of available applications. We boot the ISO into the live environment and initiate the installation. Unfortunately, I could not adjust the virtual machine resolution, so part of the window has been cut off. The installer looks slick and polished and provides all necessary and expected options. We go through setting up our languages, time zone, partitioning, user details, and the installation completes with no issues. Upon first boot, we are presented with the welcome screen, where we can select a few user preference options as well as theming. I chose the Midna Dark theme, as I am a sucker for quality dark themes and in constant search for the perfectly executed one. I really enjoyed the unintrusive welcome screen with these basic settings, it's a nice touch. As we go through the list of available applications, we see a few regular suspects when it comes to KDE, as well as Krita Paint and Application, Fat Red Download Manager, which I have never heard of, and Skype? Nah, it's just a shortcut to the Skype login page. There is also a nice range of media players, including SMTube for watching YouTube videos. Caligra Suit is pre-installed for all your word processing and spreadsheet needs. KOS uses the Pacman package manager, adopted from Arch Linux, OS that served as an inspiration for KOS. All expected Pacman commands and configuration are usable. To complement Pacman, KOS has Octopi, a graphical user interface for Pacman. I decided to try installing Firefox using Octopi and it worked like a charm. Firefox was available on the system within moments. Admittedly, KOS is not striving to have a massive repository of packages. Instead, the list of available applications is carefully curated. And given that the distribution is just using the package manager from Arch, there is no AUR support. I really enjoy the visual aspects of KOS as it's uh, one of the most slick implementations of the Plasma 5 desktop. It provides a very well-designed and polished look. To complement your desktop, a variety of nicely themed desktop widgets are available as well. KOS appears to be a great distribution for both newcomers and experienced users. Because the list of available applications is carefully managed, you can expect it to maintain its consistent look. However, because of the same reason, more experienced users may not find a particular program they might require. Depending on workflow and needs, though, it may suit a lot of people very well. As the cow says, subscribe to InstaLibre channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.